Thank you very much indeed for your time. The Finder newspaper says defunct microfinance and savings and loans companies deposit us to cash uh, some 5 billion CDs uh, from Monday. Pre payments will start from Monday. The president said this yesterday in Parliament at the State of the Nation Address uh, message delivery. 2020 victory margin will surpass 2016. Nanado says as he filed his nomination yesterday at the party office. Coronavirus, Ghanaians living in Hubei province in good hands, according to the Minister for Health and Missing Excavators Saga. No one involved will be shielded. The Daily Guide. I'm running with Baumia Nana says so. Go and register to vote. That's emphatic. Take all seats. President urges MPP as NDC walks out. And yesterday, in a dramatic fashion, you could see members of the majority fill the seats of the minority as they walked out there. Uh, new arrest in coup plot case and evacuation plan for Ghanaians in China. The Ghanaian Times, state of the nation address, nation in good health, president declares, minority stages walk out against impunity and constitutionalism. Persons found culpable in missing excavator saga to be prosecuted. President announces 5 billion Ghana cities for payment to depositors of defunct microfinance companies. And it's safer for foreigners to stay in China in the matter of the coronavirus. That's what the Chinese government is saying to us. Perhaps rehashing what the health officials and technical advisors have been saying. Uh, to us. The daily graphic is a very final one for this morning. It says Ghana in good health, competent hands, according to the president. And minority walks out of Sona, says protest against dictatorship. Stories on page 13. Microfinance savings and loans depositors receive locked up funds Monday, president. And Baumia will be my running mate for 2020. Akufado discloses as he files nomination. My guest this morning are two sitting MPs, one from Accra, one from Bongo, and uh, the Honorable Fusaini Isa is the Member of Parliament for the Okanakwe North constituency. He is here on the ticket of the NPP and Edward uh, Adambri Bauer, Agambire, Abambire Bauer, yes, he's uh, the MP for Bongo, he's uh, on the ticket of the NDC. Gentlemen, welcome, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good you. Great. I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, Friday, any plans? Ah, it's a busy weekend as, as usual. Okay. Um, funerals, weddings, and all plan for tomorrow. Mm. And for this time <coughs> of uh, electioneering um, process, right. we expect that activities are picking up. Mm. So a few meetings here and there. Right. But uh, all in all, I expect a very um, busy but uh, also restful weekend. Okay. Eddie? Uh, for for us, um, I think that basically the committee I belong to over uh, this weekend will be. Uh, assessing the performance of some of the utilities. Okay. That's the Mines and Energy Committee okay. in the Eastern Region. Right. So the whole of this weekend I will be in the Eastern Region. Okay. Um, but besides that, uh, granted that I was not even going there mm -hmm. under such a situation that we have in this country in terms of economic hardship and other things. Mm -hmm. All you can do is to minimize your expenditure and ensure that every day you're at home. So that at the end of the day, at least your kids can get something to eat morning, afternoon, evening. The president says Unless the economy is in good, is in good hands. The, the, the president said the economy, economy is in good health. You doubt him? Yeah, I mean, um, there's one thing just saying it and the other thing experiencing it. The figures are think, showing positively. And I'm telling you that if you were to go to the streets of Accra today, mm. these <coughs> figures that the president mentioned okay. at the end of the day and ask them your condition. Mm -hmm. as a person, right. your living standards as a person, mm -hmm. they will definitely, there will be a common uh, response, which is a deteriorating living standards of Ghanaians. And so I think that uh, um, the president had an opportunity because this was an uncontested platform. Okay. A platform where nobody was challenging him on the figure. So he right. could say whatever he wanted mm -hmm. and go. So for the number of hours he, he addressed Ghanaians, it was uncontested. That is why we are here today, to contest those things that he said. Okay. And see whether they really reflect on the very uh, common Ghanaian who is supposed to work and pay taxes and also feed his children. Okay. Exactly. I, 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 he I says that the president is because, just uh, <coughs> say, throwing figures around the streets the, are not resonating with it. The, the constitutional <coughs> provision mm -hmm. that gives the president the opportunity to come to parliament mm -hmm. once a year, 67. 67, to give us the state of the nation. Right. It, it's not a platform that is contestable. 
So whether or not they mm -hmm. were in their seats or not, mm -hmm. the president was speaking to Ghanaians, was delivering mm -hmm. the state of the nation to Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. the, the, the position of whether if they were could have contested him if they were there or not, I think that's not even a rise at No, all. that's not what I said. Now, the big, the big challenge mm -hmm. is that those are members of parliament right. who were elected by their constituents, mm -hmm. by Ghanaians, to come to parliament to represent them. Mm -hmm. Instead of staying to do the work that Ghanaians had actually began, began, um, voted them for, they decided to stage a workout. This is this I, will I, be the I, first I, time. I, I don't. It is not the first time. Mm. It is not the first time. But the other circumstances are not like this. Okay. I, will, I, will, I will situate it in, 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 the, in, the, in the context for which it happened. Mm. In 2013, similar thing had happened. Right. When the minor then minority had worked out. Okay. That was the then, MPP at the time. Then <clears throat> then minority had worked out. Okay. No, they had worked out MPP they had time. worked out on the basis that the president then Okay. Which was John Mahama. Which was John Mahama. Okay. Had a case in court to answer. Okay. There was a legal process in place in place. <clears throat> so if they had sat in parliament, mm. they were legitimizing in parliament what they were challenging. In court. Is that not what the NDC also says that, look... No, in this case, nobody is contesting the Hold on for me. So, in, in, is that not what the NDC is saying yesterday in their press conference, for example, when they said that you are calling for a new register, just like the Electoral Commissioner, and you are who, saying Who is that, calling for a new register? Well, well, who's, you, you, who's, su you support who's, your side. Who's, who's duty is, is The Electoral Commission says a, a new register. You are supporting Our a new party register. is not the EC. You don't support it. It is the EC's decision. Do you support the, the new register? I, it is the EC's decision. Fine, that's Whether fine. Whether or not we need that, a new register, is it fine. is the Electoral Commission's decision. So, and not that of the president of you. the new patriotic so, party. The I, fact that we support that decision does not make that decision ours. I didn't say that. I'm saying that yes, you support for a new register to be compiled. I do. I do. Now, Personally, I do. Now, the NDC yesterday at the press conference said that if you support a new register, and it is this same register, the old one, <clears throat> that brought the president to power, mm. then obviously his legitimacy as president is not intact. And that is why they didn't sit in there to listen to you. Because the, the, the reason why... An, an, an old register... Let me, register let, me, let, me, let me again explain this. Makes the, reason, the president... We, we have not kept the same register from 1992. Over time, because technology, because of population, because of a lot of issues or a lot of um, 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 things that have happened, mm -hmm. we have changed register time and again. Okay. So it is, it is not the fact that we have this sacrosanct register that even when we, we, when, when we have detected that there are shortfalls in it, we cannot, we cannot take And they are saying can, that... What, what, the, what, is, what is in the register mm. that the NDC still want us to maintain and, this register? And they are saying, and they are saying they that it there? is that same register that you have found a problem with. The fact that, that, that brought the president and you and him to power. Johnny, my so point, if, my point if is the that... the register is not credible, the point, it means the, that your election, point, his election, the election Johnny, of everybody in parliament the, the, and the my, president My point is to you is credible. that... That's the what they are saying. The fact that... We are saying the register should be changed now. Mm. Does not mean that in 2012 or in 2016 it was not uh, um, um, built for purpose. So what? What changed? What we are what saying? If, if you remember, prior to 2016 elections. In 2015 and 2014, we were calling for a new register. We were consistent mm -hmm. on on double um, 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 registration. Mm -hmm. we, we we presented other facts to Ghanaians, right. but they thought they thought at the time that the register was fit for purpose and so we went into an election and we won overwhelmingly. The fact that we had issues with the register back in 2015 that's not, and, and we won elections in 2016 does not mean that the issues that we raised back in 2015 were gone. Okay. And that is what the EC seems to rectify and that is what we, we are not contesting. The fact that we support the decision of the EC does not in any case make that's our decision. Okay. I mean, I think that our, our, our brothers are actually struggling, they are to, struggling find, to, to, to find, find a rationalization okay. for this. But from what I hear, mm. from what I they, hear... They raised a couple of issues to do that, but let me come to it on the, on the, on the walkout. Edward Bauer, you have the right to walk out, to boycott, but was the timing right? Was it necessary? Yeah, thank you very much, mm. and, and uh, good morning to your viewers. I think that basically, um, in terms of timing, I mm. think that it was the most appropriate. But I'll explain why. Okay. You see, um, basically, the right to walk out from sitting 
is within, uh, is enshrined in the Constitution. Right. And so all we were doing was to just exercise our democratic right. Mm. And we did not walk out on the basis of uh, just the fact that we felt that the, pre the president had come and we needed to walk out. Indeed, if you were to compare the 20, uh, uh, yesterday's walkout mm. to the 2013 right. boycott, total boycott, you realize that we extended to a very large extent a lot of courtesies to the president. Mm. How did you do that? We did that by virtue of the fact that we, our leader mm. had gone out, accompanied the Mr. Speaker right. outside mm. the parliament mm. to welcome the president into the chamber. We sat down for the national anthem. And after that, we felt that because of certain reasons, uh, we could not be part of uh, the members of parliament who would sit down to listen to the president. If you're not ready for the meeting, why welcome the president? Yeah, we're welcome because of the office he occupies. Okay. But we wanted to just um, uh, drum home a point. Mm -hmm. um, some of these issues that we raise, and I'm going to talk right. about them, have been raised on different platforms. And they have not, uh, the president and for that matter, all other state actors mm -hmm. have not really heeded to our call. And therefore, we felt that this, if you look at the various activities for this year, okay. <laughs> the most appropriate activity where we can drum home our point mm -hmm. was this. And what were the reasons we gave? The first reason we gave basically had to do with the fact that, look, and you have discussed that mm -hmm. about the issue of the... It was uh, in your press conference. Yes, yes. Um, the um, voter register. Yes, and you have made the point very clear. You've articulated what we had indicated. That one, we have a biometric register mm -hmm. that... Uh, produced the two of us, mm. and in total uh, 275 MPs, right. a biometric register that produced the president in 2012 mm. from a different party, right. and in 2016, yet another party, which is their party, mm. a biometric mm. register that produced six additional regions for us, mm. a biometric register that <clears throat> gave us about 6,000, what do you call it, uh, assemblymen mm -hmm. in this country, mm -hmm. and about 33,000 uh, unit committee members. Mm -hmm. So the question you would then ask yourself is that what is so wrong with this register that at the end of the day, mm -hmm. that even if the quote and unquote, just granted that mm -hmm. they had certain challenges that they needed to look at, mm -hmm. that could not be cured, and that we needed to, uh, what do you call it, uh, compile a very new one. And look, this is not the NDC talking. You have a coalition of civil society organizations who are talking about this. Indeed, you have a situation where even the United States uh, uh, State Department uh, on Human Rights reports that, look, for them, they, tend, they, they have concerns about voter suppression, particularly in opposition to your, your presidential candidate has been meeting the diplomatic corps to, to say some of these things. I thought that should have been enough rather than staging a strong walkout and having no. a press conference. So you have a situation walls. where the diplomat, yes, we have said that to a diplomatic mm. uh, community. We have, at, at least, and I, that's why I just cited at least one, I mean, even the, the most powerful country in the world, even having concerns about the decision of this government to even want to, uh, what do you call it, uh, compile a new register. So we had indicated this very clearly. Mm. And they're having demonstrations and other things, mm -hmm. and all that you hear from the uh, electoral commission and uh, government operators. And mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you heard uh, His Excellency the President. Yeah. If you are talking about the fact that there, there's supposed to be some dialogue as to the middle ground, how we could build consensus going forward, you have a, a president who is already in his own, uh, what they call it, mind, mm -hmm. know that, look, we are going to have this register, and therefore he's uh, encouraging people to come out. And it register. is not his duty to compile the register. That's no, no, what yes. the electoral commission Yes, says. but it's if... if the pretext mm -hmm. is that we are still negotiating, we are still trying to find a, a common ground right. on this uh, impasse that we have. The president should not be seen to a very large extent to have come out clearly. To if, indicate. He he, 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 if he supports like, a new register, he has decided. If he supports a new register, So let me make, let yes, me make your point. So we, we, we had dealt with the issue of the, letter, uh, uh, what do you call it, the voters register. Right. But had, we had also dealt with other issues. Look, and these are all related to elections. Mm -hmm. You remember the yeah, so, uh, West Wagon uh, issue? Right, R wrap and, up on that. Yes, point. and when there was so much violence, mm. electoral violence, that the president himself decided to put up a, what they call a commission. The commission came out with recommendations, far reaching recommendations. Amongst them were that they had identified people who were directly involved in this and who had perpetrated this and had recommended certain actions to be taken up on them. The government issues a white paper. That clearly seems to suggest that, look, these are guys that, look, um, the commission had gone outside this limit mm -hmm. and that they were supposed to be, uh, what do you call it, uh, were 
they they never really f went through with the recommendations mm -hmm. they gave. Mm -hmm. Besides that, Johnny, you you see that you had a state minister who had openly said that he had given up the command that they should do what they did. The recommendation was that he should be seriously reprimanded. You know what they have done? The, the, they have, the deputy attorney general I spoke with yesterday, Pemka Dim Diop, says a reprimand could be calling you to the office and telling you what you did was wrong. No, that's look, also a reprimand. See, isn't but it? you know what has happened. Um, yeah. You know you you, see, you, you, perceptions. You, you, <laughs> see, <laughs> no, no, I'm just, just, just in case you forgot. Yeah, no, I'm not forgotten. I'm just stating <laughs> to yesterday. I interviewed the deputy yeah, attorney general, but see, and he yeah. said a reprimand could be, could be that. calling him. Yes. So, but you see, but you see something. Now you move this gentleman from uh, where uh, from the national security mm -hmm. to a more organized mm -hmm. ministry that obviously has not only the police, we have the immigrations and all other state securities, uh, what they call mm -hmm. the uh, uh, agencies right. under. What does he say? It clearly tells you about the fact that this is somebody who is being positioned strategically. But he has a boss, and Bruce Derry. He had a boss. He had a boss called uh, Kandapa, mm -hmm. and he still went ahead and did what he did. Okay, oh, you see, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on for me, okay. Fuseni coming for me, he's made a, a, a few points mm -hmm. regarding, for example, the IAS West war gone mm -hmm. by, and I don't want us to stay too much on this, I want us to talk about the meat of this, the mm -hmm. Sona itself. I, I, I think that I think that all of this is, <laughs> I, 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 I'm struggling mm -hmm. to rationalize the reason why they would take such a step. This issue of voters' registration, I think it's been overflowed. Mm. It is a duty of the Electoral Commission to compile a register in the run-up to elections. Okay. The EC has made a decision. Mm. I support their decision. Okay. What is wrong with that? No, it's your is right. That, is that, is that it's your right. Is their right to also, no, also read uh, questions? Fine. That's fine. Right. In 2015, uh, we, we're, we're, in the, we're, we're in similar positions. Okay. We also um, fought against uh, us using the register that had come from 2012. They insisted. We went into elections. And it, it does appear that the government in power is always uh, agree, in agreement with the Electoral Commission. It does appear in, so. In 2015, when yeah. you were raising questions, yeah. they were in government. Yeah. They agreed with the Electoral Commission. But they didn't work out on the, on the president. You did. Based on that, you did. You based did. on that you voters' did. register. You see, we did not work out of the president. You, you see, Johnny, Johnny mm. yesterday, when, when they started working out, and from where I was seated, the only place that I, I looked at was the diplomatic corps. The gallery. In, yes. the, in, the, in the gallery. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I felt bad for a moment. I felt bad for a moment. Then right? the, this was the, happening in our country. Then one of our objectives was... Uh, one of our time, objectives was when it. Ghana is being projected mm. the world over as, as, as an oasis in the sub-region mm. or even on the continent. At oasis this point in time. When Ghana is being projected to that extent, they say there's tyranny. There's tyranny. tyranny you are endorsing. You are, you are you're endorsing violence. You are. You are yesterday, for example, at the what, press conference, what, yeah, they who, said that who, who some of the people them, who are known to be members of the vigilante groups have mm. found themselves well, into, into legitimate secret, services, are they not services. and they say are they this not is Ghanese? dangerous. Are they not Ghanaians? Mm. If they qualify to get into any of the security services, what prevents them from getting in there? I think that they have equal, they should be given equal opportunity like any other Ghanaian wanting to get into the security service. Mm -hmm. If they go through the recruitment processes and they qualify to get in there, what prevents the, uh, the, the security services from engaging? There is a question, them? for example, about how long Double was trained before he was given that, a fire. That fire. matter was dealt at the commission and government has issued a white paper on it. We have sat here, we have discussed whatever. What else, what else do they expect? They, there were commissions under the NDC, mm. the Jamaica Committee and all that. Right. Did, we say, did we ever see a white paper? Did we ever see a white paper on the Jamaica Commission? Mm. This is a president who is committed to fixing the, 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 the ills that we inherited. Mm -hmm. and, and we are not going to be, to be, to be distracted. By such actions, okay. We but are see, Johnny, just, we a, are just a, no, just a so sentence, just a sentence, no, 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 just a sentence, okay. just a sentence on this. As, 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 as the mandate is being given, we are not expired. So mm -hmm. we are resolute. We are going to go on mm -hmm. with what we have to do as a government. Okay. But Johnny, just a quick one. You yeah. see, he says that look, this was a decision of the electoral commission. It's just by coincidence or whatever it is that they also side with them. You recall in the 2013 one. It was the same electoral commission right. that had declared 
His Excellency John Draman Mahama as the president. Absolutely. And they contested that. And in contesting that, they are, uh, to be able to demonstrate their dissatisfaction for what the EC had done, decided to work out. So you cannot today mm -hmm. sit here and pretend that because the EC is independent and has taken a decision, we Baba, cannot work out. Baba, you two. also had two. 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 I am excited that he has on live TV, mm. accepted that, look, he felt sad for himself. That was the purpose of the whole. The purpose was that we needed to let all the operators within the, what do you call it, mm. uh, uh, the, the state, know that, look, we are moving towards something that is bad. So if he took a shock, mm. like what he got, in front of the diplomatic corps, to realize that, look, we are gradually moving mm. into a place where our democracy is at risk, and that Ghana is not different from Cote d'Ivoire. Mm. Ghana is not different from any other country. Mm. And therefore, we can also go through that same path. Oh, you are not and calling for, for, for war? Be, beyond, we beyond, are not calling, calling for what's happening. Beyond, beyond, that's what no, going on. Like. I am saying, we are you are not saying that tomorrow we are going to start no, let me tell you. ourselves. Ghanians, our Ghanians are not special. Is that what you are saying? Ghanians are not special. Power, if it, you took, it took an election dispute in Cote d'Ivoire. It took an election dispute in Cote d'Ivoire to have a civil war. And so the point I'm just trying to tell you that if you have as a responsible opposition party, mm. it is important that and you we, are not we, saying that Ghana is going to go the route of Cote d'Ivoire or Ghana is going to go the route of How special are you that between you cannot go on that route? How special are you that you are not going to go I will promise you that at this point in time, that a new patriotic party led by His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Ekufu Ado is in power mm. you dare not so beyond the shock you. what's there not. beyond the shock for you uh Isai, and then you take a bite beyond the shock they said one of the objectives is to get yeah. everybody to recognize mm. what it is that they have mm. identified and take a decision mm. all the key actors mm. you say you were shocked mm. beyond the shock what's there it's it's it, for a moment for <clears throat> a moment when they started working out and mm. um, I, I should say there had been snipers inf information from last week okay. that such a thing was going to happen. And they gave one reason of um, 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 common fund not being paid. Right. So we're expecting that this thing, if it's resolved, things will. Mm -hmm. But about 10 minutes <laughs> into the, into the, within the chamber, there was, there was information that, like that. But I thought, ah, there was no big issue. You said like they had seen that, security men who looked suspicious. They, they, within armed, Parliament. Yes, heavily oh, security men. That so that, 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 was, that was what scared them. No, no, there was, there was one of them. I mean, they listed a couple we, of them. We, we, I don't we, want we, us to stay on the You see, you see on the presence of Parliament, yes, we the president is the head of the executive. Okay. But when he's in Parliament, Parliament is also an, an arm of government. Okay. And Parliament is an institution that governs itself. Parliament is Be, an Beyond the shock, what's there? Should. That's what I want to find out. Beyond, beyond the shock, it was... It was, it was uh, my concentration went on the deliverance of the president. Okay. And I was happy as okay. a Ghanaian okay. sitting in that chamber listening to the president give a state of the nation and tell us where we were as a nation mm -hmm. and what is to be done to okay. ensure that. Thank Johnny, you. Beyond, you the, shock. You see, Beyond Johnny, the shock. Johnny, you are a journalist. I don't answer questions, by the way. Yeah, I'm not going to ask you a question. <laughs> look, you realize that in this country, look, and yesterday our, our leader made that point. If you look... Oh, sorry. Ba. I heard and from what we gather yes. that this was an order given by the former president because John Mahama. You heard from where? Is he? This is this is this is who is seeking who is seeking re-election. And all he's doing is from. to just be <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Okay. So I said look at I said look at the press. It actually came from a government officer. One that it came through an airbus. I think so. I, I think it was. Oh, is he? Is he? Is he? Let me make a point. I will not. I will not dignify. Okay. I will not dignify this comment. I'm asking beyond the shock. Was that? You see, I was just saying to you, as a pressman, you realize that look, and our leader made that point yesterday. I'm talking of Harun Edrisu. Right. You see, I was just saying to you, as a pressman, you realize that look, and our leader made that point yesterday. I'm talking of Harun Edrisu. Right. That look, between 2008 and 2016, it is not the case that we did not have media houses breaching some of the conditions under which they should operate. Mm. But there were always remedies that were supposed to ensure that these people came clean in terms of the activities. Mm. The reason was simple, because in democracy, mm. one of the key things that you need is freedom of uh, expression. Right. The fact that I cannot express what I'm worried about mm. is a threat in itself to what I call it, right. the, uh, um, um, democracy. Mm. Now, you have a situation where... You fail to apply the law. Look, you have a situation where... You failed to apply look, the law. Can I make my point? Mm. You have a situation where 
media houses are being closed. And if you look at the profile of these media houses, they seem to be media houses that are critical of the government and the president himself. Okay. And therefore, you, you, so one tends to wonder, mm. a person who had proclaimed mm. that he was a man of him, uh, he was a human rights lawyer, mm. he was a man of the people, he was, a, uh, he was somebody who believed in the tenets of democracy. And he opposed to, the rule of law. Uh, the law. And, and the then law. You, have a, you have a situation where the law. You, you tend to close down media houses just because of the fact that you feel that this person is not particularly on my side. But beyond that, okay. you, you have, you, you have journalists, look, you have journalists, mm. you have journalists. We, we you, know that, you know that, you know that Manasseh had to leave this country mm. because of fear of his own life. I it is that was, that was his decision, and nobody was after him. Nobody okay, so if that was look for nobody the fact that you have a journalist who feels look, if you have a journalist, if you have a journalist who feels insecure, mm. not because he has committed a crime, mm. but because of he his feels, right he to express, he to felt. express, <laughs> I mean, what he feels what his and how his belief. Okay, then that tells you that you are living within a particular condition. With a president who is tyrannical, and that was exactly. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. I, 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 no, I, I think I, I deserve. I deserve. I deserve. If we stay on this one, eh, I, I, I think. I so think. I think I'll give you a chance. Yes. But let me. Let me. Let me react. Johnny. We may not get a chance Johnny. to do the meet. He says of, that. Of the... He says that the minority leader hmm. said that prior to 2016. There were remedies for those media houses right. who had defaulted exactly. on the law, exactly. and it was fixed. And they even, laid the, the, they, they even laid the claim that media pluralism. Was beyond, them because beyond, they were living in 20, beyond 2012, the 2012 yeah. they, beyond, had, they had given over 200 Johnny, you know, beyond ratings. the remedies mm. in beyond the remedies in 2016 right these media houses were still found in default mm. and by coincidence beyond the residents, and by coincidence oh. they are just media houses that beyond are the aligned, remedies, or maybe that are still instituted prior to 2016 or okay. in 2016 well, well, allow, these allow. media houses were still in default and nobody is going to any any radio station or TV station to close it down because I don't like the color of your mm. your radio station or I don't like your ideology or something. Nobody's done that. It has been done per what the law that okay. we have all. Thank you. To Thank you very much. Say. The the Center for Public Discourse Analysis, uh, Dr. H. S. Kanko and his team has done a very great job this morning. Uh, they they have a graph that's indicating how many minutes the president spent on every single subject at the sonar yesterday so we'll pick it one after the other his introduction they say took three minutes wow uh, tourism <laughs> took four minutes the economy took 10 minutes peace and security was given six minutes and uh, infrastructure and development was given 18 minutes that's the highest time uh, that was that's what accorded any subject matter environment took nine uh, eight minutes agriculture seven minutes Energy, one minute. <laughs> Education, five minutes. Uh, sports, three minutes. <laughs> Social issues, three minutes. Health, nine minutes. Creative arts, one minute. Technology and innovation, four minutes. Election 2020, two minutes. Corruption, three minutes. And a closer remark, one minute. Vizini, does this say the, the weight your government, or if you like the president, places on these subject matters. This is a recording and analysis. It puts a percentage score to it. Does it in any way? I mean, for example, uh, in, energy, in, in, education? In fact, I have not seen the report you are Okay, to, that's but, it. But I am, I am actually impressed. Dr. H. S. Kanku, he does a lot of uh, um, work. I know. My very I, good I have, friend I have, I have an idea who he is. Um, he's a pre-second, though. And Absolutely. I, I, so I trust, I trust Absolutely. You trust him. Is. Yeah, I but he teaches I, I, at GIJ. I, 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 he teaches at GIJ. Oh, okay. Yeah, but so, I know he's a Prosec. So he's a good so school. I, he teaches I, from I, it's at a good I school. Mean, <laughs> I mean, if you go to a good school like Prosec, you yeah. expect it that you come out to be and be doing something. We give him employment. But fine. you see, <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, I, I, am, I have not seen this report. Right. But I, I think that on such an occasion, for the president to spend 10 minutes mm. of the total, how, how, for how long did the president speak? Um, I have not done the time tabulation myself but this and, was the only graph that was sent and, and for the president to I, I from what from what i just mm. heard from you um he spent 10 minutes on the economy right 18 minutes on infrastructure right and then on security he spent what six, six minutes? minutes yeah six minutes yeah i think it tell, it just tells you the um, order in which we put some of some of these things okay energy, and the energy two and minutes 
energy, energy because and not too long ago you were told that the BDCs had been paid there. Mm. Yeah, oh, there, say six hundred okay. and something, okay. and, and, and uh, a million owed to the BDCs. Okay. And I, I think that it was a um, a couple of days ago mm -hmm. the vice president launched the. A mobile application for the payment <coughs> of PCG. In fact, this right. morning I, I I was just about trying it when I had to rush to the studio. Mm -hmm. So I will try it when I when I when I get out of here. Okay. And and the president is declared 2020 as the year for roads. Okay. And in our infrastructural deficit, roads form quite a a, a, a big chunk of it. So mm -hmm. for him to have spent that amount of time on roads, I think it was an order. The economy, of course, is the most important of all. But for where we bought the economy, especially, and it was also refreshing to hear him speak again on the on the banking um, um, and clean up that's right. been ongoing mm. for the last two years or so. And it was instructive also that he you see, you're starting the you start the payments that, uh, on, on for Monday. The, for the validation. Mm. For the validation. Once the validation is done, everyone who had monies or any deposits within the savings and loans sector. And in fact, it, it means that it means that the entire the entire sector will be will, 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 will be cost. It's five million it's, enough. It's, the, the, no, it's the, not five billion. Five billion, billion right? Sir, sure. Five billion. Five billion. Yeah. Yes, I'm. I'm sure that we, we you wouldn't come up with five billion mm -hmm. if some analysis had not been placed right. <laughs> on the committee okay. where we have continuously looked at mm -hmm. that business. And in in any case, um, validation will still be going on. And once validation is going, mm -hmm. the final figure will be difficult for us to to mention that because as once people come out with genuine claims, they will have to be attended to. If the president actually spent ten minutes on the economy, mm -hmm. um. 18 on infrastructure, hmm. 6 on security, 5 okay. on education. I think that he had actually, and if he actually touched on all hmm. these important sectors of our, of our, of our, of our lives, hmm. I, I, I think that it was... It the was president a, spent a, four minutes on tourism, one minute on the creative arts, especially in the year of return and beyond the given, return. Given, the given, the given quantum of resources that yeah. were pushed in and the quantum of resources that were hoping to plow back hmm. Do you think five minutes for such a huge... Given, given, given what happened in December mm -hmm. and, and what plans the government has to build upon, mm -hmm. I, I, and, and for, for a platform like what the president had yesterday, mm -hmm. spending four, four minutes on creative arts and one minute on tourism, mm -hmm. I, I think was ideal. For what we have put in, what we expected. I, this, this was a platform, and that is why we are here this morning. Okay. Speaking, and, and, and in fact, parliament has a whole week next week to be debating this okay. and by the time we are done a report will be taken he, sent, he spent so, one minute on so, energy energy is topical these and, days. and i'm telling you that a lot of the issues and, and in that one minute mm. he did tell us that Dumso was a thing of the past <laughs> is it he, he was expressed yes, and, and and people, I'm happy people, that my, yes, my, my people were here, people on social media saying their lights have, have been off my my light was not off okay yeah, yeah. so that's why my light was okay. not off okay. did you have light of yesterday i didn't but around you bright didn't. area so i, I, I tell off. you that look I'll, I'll tell you a story. <coughs> tell me i'll tell you a story. tell me where i live i have a transformer not too far away from okay. my home and because people um, go on the post to change the, the faces, the, the faces when on their own so some of the lines get overloaded okay. and so the transformer started tripping for about two three weeks mm. it just trips at around s between 6 30 and 7 when people had come home, there was an overload okay. and there was a gentleman who lived next door because he had access to a transformer, he would just go and put a switch on when he was around. When he wasn't around, it would take two or three hours. I would call the ECG people, they would come, they would investigate, they couldn't detect it. Until one of them was clever enough to say that, now, nah, one of the switches looked too clean. So perhaps somebody was tempering with their equipment. Mm. So I got boys to stand there. The next day, the lights go. So stood there for how long? The whole day? No, for just one night. Okay. I got people to stand at the, at the transformer. Okay. One, just for just the, the, next, the next evening. Once the light went off, this was a gentleman coming to temple with me. He thought he was doing his, his uh, civil something to help mm, the community, mm. but he didn't know that he was distracting the work of the electricity. This thing's happened. Okay. It could be a fault or something. Mm. But Doom saw as we knew, okay. Doom saw that we experienced for four years or five years, mm. it's a ten of the past. But I thought Dr. Baumia had said that President Mahama should not be taking credit for solving Doom saw because it was his job he? anyway. Why should he? Yeah, so, 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 why so, so why is credit being taken? So why is credit being taken now? You see, it is also important for us to situate this in the context. Okay. You see, for the time that we were having those challenges, we had a government in place. Right. And they were all over the place doing what signing PPAs. Mm -hmm. 
signing power <laughs> purchase agreements all over the place. And that is what is brought us here. It is costing us close to a billion dollars. Now we are feeling the pinch. Then we didn't. Because we thought that it was a matter of generation. We kept adding to generation capacity. And then that's, that's where we are. But you are benefiting from ESLA. The, oh, the resources are, from ESLA has, made you, has made you capable ESLA. enough to pay the BDCs. That's, 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 that's a lot of But you are not in, supply, in support of ESLA I, at, at, the at, at the time, yes. But we are So you have admitted it on life team. We, we, are, we are in but government. But that's not your We are in government. Yes. And government is a continual <laughs> process. When you inherit a government, you make things better. Right. And the president said that, look, he is happy that at the first state of the nation, he told Ghanaians that he is here to fix the challenges okay. of this country. Okay. And not, and not to, not to, um, 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 for, for. And you uh, think so far it's been done? Oh, of course. Okay. And see where we are today. Okay. Bon. Uh, my, my brother here will decide to be at home or we can because he knows he will have electricity at home. So he, he will enjoy it. TV, he can have his You have got some response for that. That. <laughs> <laughs> Take a bite on this. <laughs> take a bite on this. On this quickly. The time allocations. What does it say to you? You see, for me, this issue of time allocations. Um, that's a very good exercise, mm. and uh, it's good that people people come out with some of this uh, nice data for us. But that being said, uh, if we were to go to the streets of uh, Accra right. and ask them what are the main issues that they expected the president to have addressed. Mm. They will talk about their living conditions. Right. They will talk about the environment in mm -hmm. terms of Garamze. Mm -hmm. They talk about corruption. And they may add education and health. These are things that really touch them on daily basis. On the environment, the president said largely Operation Vanguard has been largely <coughs> successful. And so, the minister in charge with Pom Barton says, we have done so well that other African countries are, are coming, coming to, to learn. To learn to learn. Is he, Do you doubt that? Um, I think that I think that it is not what the judgment value are put on this mm -hmm. that will that will make it. The best case is that after this, just take your cameras with a mic, go onto the streets and see whether the people will give the same assessment that from Pom or for that matter the president gave. You have a situation where the president comes and he indicates very clearly that his mm -hmm. presidency was going he, he was putting his presidency on the line right. in fighting the environmental menace that we, we found ourselves, mm -hmm. the degradation of the environment. Indeed, they had gone further to now establish what we call the interministerial committee right. that was supposed to look at this. Mm. They had full backing. It was a bipartisan support. Mm. You had the media supporting this. Mm -hmm. You had civil society. And indeed, the generality of the population mm -hmm. had really given the president a thumbs up on this particular uh, exercise. Right. Then suddenly we, we realized that in the course of these particular activities, mm -hmm. the first uh, red flag that we saw was the analysis, uh, what do you call it, uh, expose. Right. That gave uh, the secretary to the interministerial committee, Mr. Bissu. Mr. Bissu, was seen actually in a very compromising situation in terms of exchange of monies and mm -hmm. what have you. Mm -hmm. Then we expected the president to have worked and worked very hard on that in terms of pushing and disciplining this gentleman. He refer, according to him, he refers this case to the CID. Mm -hmm. And the CID claims him. And the man still has his job at the Flagstaff House. Do you doubt the that was the, the first CID thing. And you see, to have investigated and I will tell you game. why the CID issue is becoming a problem. Tell me. Then we, 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 we have uh, what you call the, uh, the current one that came about, the uh, disappearance of okay, the excavators. The yes, okay. the uh, uh, excavators, right. the disappearance mm -hmm. of the excavators. If you listen to him a short mm -hmm. on one of your sister stations, right. he was worried that this same case was referred to the CID because he had indicated mm -hmm. that consistently the CID has come out with a particular uh, posture mm -hmm. that seemed to be clearing almost everybody. Mm. And he had indicated that on one of your But if there's yeah. nothing wrong with the person, why see, should you be held for look, you have you, have you have pictorial evidence okay. of somebody picking up money. Mm -hmm. You have audio evidence mm -hmm. of the person talking about the basis for which he was picking the money. Right. And still you have the criminal investigation uh, department mm -hmm. clearing such a person. You have a president who is supposed to be the one who was putting his presidency mm -hmm. on the line. Uh, uh, this let me make my device. point. Let me make my point. So you, you, you see that, look, the issue of Galamse mm -hmm. was very key. And you see, the, the reason why people are so uh, angry is that apart from the degradation of the environment, you have corruption attached to it. 
Because you now have a situation where these excavators that came cannot even be accounted for. You and I may be breaking... Says some of them are missing, but even though he didn't put them a number you see, to it. You see, you know, and that contradicting figures. If you see what Ken of Uriata brought in terms of the budget... 900. 900. We're being tracked. I then was here Monday. Yes. When he tracked, tracked the money, see, you didn't see 900 so excavators had been Hold on, hold on. Can I make my point? Can I make my point? Yes, I think that's a situation. You can't move on in Parliament. So maybe you can let him did not say that 900 excavators Can I make my point? I read it from my mind. Can, Monday, I, yes. we Can I make my point? Yes, please. Let's even say that it is one Ghanaian uh, excavator that had been taken because of the fact that the person was breaking the environmental laws right. of this country, mm -hmm. was degrading the environment. What right does the party, and if you look at the people who are involved in the disappearance of this, mm -hmm. the names that have come out, the people who have been investigated, they are all party functionaries. The president says nobody will be shielded. Look, he, he has not demonstrated in the past three years that he is somebody who really can call the, uh, can, can, can crack the whip. Because look, we have had My situations. My to the CID. So and every see. single case that expect? has been referred to yes, the CID has, has been cleared. Uh, uh, every single it includes the, the, the two deputies for fast. It allow allow includes allow the allow allow people. <laughs> so, so, so I am not even the one saying it. I'm saying that you have an eminent individual mm -hmm. like a Meshot who raised concerns mm -hmm. about the institution that this case was referred to. Mm -hmm. You have a situation where the minister, who is supposed to be the chairman of the interministerial committee, mm -hmm. uh, is being accused of his son. Being directly involved in this activity. The, the, if the party says his son is not involved in it any... Express yesterday. yesterday, he said... You see, the, 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 look, the fact yesterday. that, you know, if you catch a thief mm. today mm. and goes to court, even though the person was caught maybe holding a goat mm. that he has taken from somebody else, he goes there, the first plea, that most often than not they do is that they are not guilty. True or false? Does that make them innocent? That is, that is what we okay. okay. have to do the rule of law. Yeah. Rule, you're, you're and that is what they have said. You are innocent so, until you are proven the guilty. So that, that was that was one aspect of it. Okay. In terms so of that, everybody should have been there. You say me, you say me. Everybody should have been there. Do you not can heckle you? When you are talking, I was so quiet. Thank you very much. But do you do you? So your problem is that every case that has been given to the CID has been cleared. Give me one single case that and has gone to the CID and under this government that has come out with some adverse findings. But if they have not found anything... On no, let, system, let, me you, look, let, 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 let me tell you something. Look at the, the issue of the two uh, deputy chiefs of staff. Right. Listen to the voice recording between A plus and uh, the then director of uh, CID. Yeah, me too, I, I mean, yeah. if you have situations like this, state institutions, who have now become collaborators of what they call government. That is dangerous. And yeah. really ripping off this country. Mama, what you're then you are in serious trouble. supposed to work with government anyway. Mama, what you're saying Look, they are saying. state institutions. Look, their so loyalty, institutions. their loyalty is to the state. Their loyalty is to the state okay. and so not to any okay. individual so government. Let's, let's be Mama, careful not, running, to, running, not to, running, not to running, paint a picture. Uh, stop uh, running, I, stop running down. I am not the one painting the picture. Mm. The evidence is there for everybody to see. Okay. Evidence is there. Look, Zeni, you, you, there you, are you have a bite. Let, let's go to Bella quickly, and then you will have Before, a bite. You, right. Or you want to say? You want to say something very quickly? Okay. In the case of the Charles Bissu right. incident, right? They said he did request a full tape. Exactly. From exactly. And, and what happened? Raw, raw footage. Raw footage. You can't cut, paste, join stuff, and show it to Ghanaians, and based on that, somebody is declared... I bet, Johnny, you heard what... Guilty. You remember the lawyer of, for Anas? Mm. Uh, uh, yes, uh, and the they, they refused to, to say that, that, no. that details. They said they have given every information that the, what they the, call it, the, the, the CID the requested. CID they requested did the same thing with the Cousin and the Okay. So okay. why okay. would they do it differently? And Thank you. They requested Hello, Bella. And that I Anas failed to go to the CID. Okay. Okay. So, let's start from Akwetia, where Walanya says that minority NDC aired with their tactless boycott in comparison because the 2013 parliamentary boycott by the NPP MPs was related to the backdrop uh, of, of the 2012 election petition, which was before the Supreme Court. The decision was in line with a reasonable position not to engage in any act that would have given legitimacy to John Mahama as president-elect because that was the very subject for determination by their lordships. The NDC using the EC's compilation of, new, of a new voters register as basis for their shambolic walkout is very uncalled for in this present political dispensation. Hi to Ernest Yao Kumi. I believe they stated a few other reasons as well. Mm. But good morning, Johnny. The president and his NPP have still not realized that well-meaning Ghanaians are now aware of their deceptive policies that have very little impact on the ordinary Ghanaian. Ghana's economy is in bad states. This is Philip 
from Tongo. Now, good morning, Mr. Host. <laughs> we, the people of Bongo, are happy. Uh, well, we are happy with the performance of the NPP government. We're enjoying our PFJ <laughs> and our children are uh, benefiting from free education Thank and you. many other social interventions. <laughs> As for we, the people of Bongo, we say four more for Nana, four more to do more for us. Tell our MP, that's Honorable Bongo, <laughs> uh, Honorable Bawa, pardon me, says that we, the people of Bongo, <coughs> didn't support his walkout in Parliament, and that's Desmond. <laughs> that's the one from Bongo. <laughs> okay. This country is debt distressed because of poor economic management. The only economic term that this government <laughs> understands is borrowing. Borrowing to consume is more dangerous than a snake bite. Let's mm. change the driver. That's from Osman Bukurisung in Tamale. Good morning, Johnny. All must understand that the walkout from Parliament by the minority yesterday was simply a reflection of what most Ghanaians did at home by not listening to the President's sonar due to the unprecedented economic hardships in the country. This is also East Sahaku from Tamale. Is he there? Ah. Is he there in their homes? Well, <laughs> because it looked like almost everybody was listening. <laughs> okay, let's, let's good, go on. Good morning to you, Johnny, and your team. The AC has been changing its register every four years. Both parties know that. They know that. So why this long drama? Let's allow institutions to work independently. Unless we stop politicizing everything in our institutions, Ghana will never move forward. Allow the institutions to work. And this is to the NDC and the MPP, and I believe to every Ghanaian as well. This is from Jay. He didn't state where he was sending the message from. Johnny, the minority and the NDC, are, well, they lack ideas and focus. They kept changing the goalposts for boycotting the sonar. First, their MPs come on fund. It shifted to Ayawa, so then to dictatorship and finally to the MPP vigilante boys presence in Parliament. I challenge them to boycott the debate on the sonar. They are a big disgrace to our constituents. Ustaz Abdul Karim from Saboba. Good morning, Johnny. The walkout by the NDC did not stop the program for the day. It rather smoothened the process. Also, the NDC is they are not the only brains in the country. Why are they still disturbing us with new voters register issue? They should just go to the court and stop making noise. They should have boycotted the food too. Oh. Dino oh. from Nungwa. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I don't know. No, Did they? I, I, I was, there? It has a question. Bawa, Bawa will tell us. No, yeah. but I, okay. I had indicated very clearly to you okay. before we started that even know oh, that, that there was food until you told me. But that, you know that every you time, you every, time anyway. <laughs> every time we had a state order, I mean, <laughs> Parliament is not served lunch. Okay. No, uh, right. But, but on occasions like this, they do are served lunch. Right. Okay. And so yesterday was an outstanding day, and I'm sure that. Food, in fact, did you I, see I, there was I, lunch? I had, <laughs> no, no, I, I had food. Okay. Oh, you had food. Okay. Okay. I'm sure that somebody had food. I didn't. The food was so good. The food was so good. I took off in my office. That was all. I'm oh, sure that I somebody had told them the food was so good they had to go back today. Today, today. Anyway, <laughs> Alassan one, one in Wa says, Good morning, Johnny and your panelists. Indeed, it was very shameful, unlawful, and immature oh. for minority NDC to walk out of parliament when the State of the Nation address was being delivered by the President of the Republic of Ghana. His Excellency Nana Adodanko Kufuado, what they demonstrated shows that they are not ready for power and they don't need to lead Ghana again. My greetings to Haji Ahumu Awudu. PC for Wa Central. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Johnny. It was so disappointing that minority walked out of the State of the Nation address using the compilation of a new voters register as an excuse. The same way they walked out of the Sona is, is the same way Ghanaians will walk out on them. Yeah, come December 7. This is from out. Adam Swale <laughs> inside <laughs> Tamale. <laughs> Ghanaian politics is very interesting. Will walking out of Parliament solve your problem? This is absolute incompetence exhibited by minority and the NDC. Remember that you, you represent people in your constituencies. You don't go on your own. If they continue this way, they should not be surprised if most of them don't get back to Parliament. Ibrahim in Northeast. If Idrisu Haruna, uh, the minority leader, okay, so Annabelle Haruna, the minority leader, together with the majority leader, walked out um, of parliament. Uh, can Bauer tell us who the minority leader was in 2013? Do not compare apples with I think it was Osei Chimel Sambosu. Osei Chimel Sambosu, whose present majority leader was, was the minority yeah. leader. Yeah. Okay, so good morning, Johnny. The conduct of the NDC MPs would put their party in a position beyond 2024. Their behavior yesterday was immature and it was an embarrassment to the country, the people of Ghana, and to themselves. A chab of And finally, good morning, TV3. NDC walked out. Well, the NDC walkout is a clear indication that they cannot, they can no longer govern this country. President Natna Ado has set a high standard which the NDC could not meet. 
NDC party had no capacity to manage this country again. Okay, so they have no capacity to manage the country again, especially with the free SHS, NAPCO, teacher training and allowances and nursing allowances. Hashtag four more for Nana and four more for Hobson Adoye. This is from Gariba from OE. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Thank you, Bella. Hobson Adoye, uh, I, I, I hear is congested at Pongkata State. Yeah. That's where as well. But uh, I wish you all the best. But mm -hmm. the texters say uh, what you did yesterday was not uh, correct. And that uh, it shows that you, you are walking out on them. And so they uh, walk out on you. You know, you see, I, I'm excited that if you look at this, and I was just telling him that I think this morning the MPP has just unleashed their... They are party apparatchiks oh, to move on. Like but that being said, is it that 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 being said, the fact that it's it's real. Allow, uh, allow uh, him no, to, the allow fact that the fact that today, hmm, for about three quarters of your time, I'm not too mm. sure when we are closing. We we're, have spent we're. in talking about what we wanted Ghanaians to start discussing. Mm. We have brought the issue of electoral, uh, the electoral, the new, the proposed new reg, uh, voter register right. to the front burner. Mm. We have been able to bring to the front burner again issues of uh, corruption, uh, what, uh, uh, threats to our democracy. Okay. We have talked about uh, the lack of freedoms in terms of speech, uh, free, free expression. Mm. We have brought these germane issues mm. that affect the. Uh, uh, what they call Ghanaians mm. to the, uh, the front banner. So I am excited about it. But if you have a station where people indicate that, oh, why did you walk away? It was our right. Okay. And the right was to ensure that we draw the attention of the state okay. to this discussion. Okay. And that's exactly what we are Thank doing. Thank you. Uh, our, our friends on the other side, I mean, this is, this is real time feedback. Mm. You see, the best feedback is what you get from the market, the people watching us this morning have given our friends on the other side um, 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 real-time feedback. Mm. I, I hope they take it, and, and they take it in good faith. And when they, they speak about things But like this will them, not be the first um, time uh, any uh, walkout is happening. Fine. We have learned lessons. So you, you, you MPs walk out have, all the time? We, we, we have learned lessons in okay. the past. But let's, let's situate the, 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 the different context, scenarios. Okay. I mean, in context, mm. what happened then? What is happening now? I mean, nobody's challenging. What is the, dif the difference? What is the difference? So it is, it is not, <laughs> neither here nor there. None of the issues they raised is also any, anything new. We, we have been talking about this voters' register. The EC has made a decision. And when they talk about security media freedom, and media freedom, him, him, will, him, will, him you look at, will you look him at the issues and try and fix them? I remember a member of parliament. Mm. Can you give me an instance where his, his, his freedom to express what he wants to say is being, is being trampled upon? How on earth? Either in how parliament on, or how, outside look, of parliament. How on okay. earth? Okay. You, 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 you have a typical Ghanaian. You are a typical who can go about your business the way you want to do. Look, you see, you have a member of parliament. You see, that's all the things you say that 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 that, 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 that no, to whether you are protected by the rules of parliament. You are a very big man in this country. Even in the chamber, uh. even in the chamber in parliament, he knows. He that what? They get their right. They say whatever they want. But to you are a big man so in Ghana. You, you it, cannot. It's not about a big man. And no, even the small man working on it. If if the fact that you can bring the people down by the street. Edward Bauer is the member of parliament for the Bongo constituency. Uh, all the way up north, and he's also in the race one more time, hopefully, to go back to parliament to represent his people. Yeah. And Fuseini Issa is the member of parliament for the Tamale North. Uh, no, I say Tamale North, the Kankwe North constituency. Forgive me. Forgive me. No, no, no. No, no, I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. For so saying that Lisa is, is the member of parliament that the Okaya Queen Hall constituency in the Greater Akari. Thank you. Teresa, thank you for coming. And uh, thank you very much.